Hi, I'm Cindy Pridmore, Senior Engineering Geologist at the California Geological Survey, and we're going to talk about tsunamis. So what is a tsunami? Where do they come from? Well, tsunamis occur due to pushing up of the ocean floor. So if you push up the ocean floor, the water gets pushed up too. As you can see in this diagram here, here's a fault, and if the fault moves up, the water gets pushed up too. When this occurs out in, the, out in the ocean, the tsunami gets generated, and then gravity pulls it back down, and then the tsunami travels out in all different directions. Um, tsunamis can come to California from, from distant places. Japan in 2011 sent a tsunami to California. Here's North America, and then Japan is here. So that tsunami took about nine hours to get across the ocean. We can also get tsunamis from Alaska and uh, to the north of us, uh, the Cascadia subduction zone. So tsunamis have come to the coast in California, but they're not very frequent. We don't get them very often, but we do know that they can happen. Uh, today I've, made, I've, I've brought to show you a tsunami model that I made uh, that makes it easy to talk about tsunamis. So over here you have the high land. You have a, I have uh, some fun things here, a little houses, a little car, a high area that is important to, to keep in mind. Here's the beach and then the ocean. I actually have a cutting board here that I weight down uh, with uh, weights and then I actually make the hinge down here with uh, duct tape so that we can generate the tsunami. These are sandwich boxes and a lid uh, upside down um, to create the slope, the continental slope and then uh, the on land and then I have a, a piece up here to show a high area where uh, a safe place would be during a tsunami. Um, to, to make a tsunami, I'm going to pull up on the string and it's going to lift up the ocean floor and it's going to create a tsunami that's going to flow towards, towards the coastline here. So here we go. Tsunami. And you can see that wave came on land. There's a, there's a line of where it hit the mountain right here. So if a tsunami was coming and you were, if you lived in this model, where would you go? You would go up here and get to higher ground and stay there because that's the safe spot. We'll do it again. Tsunami. See the water comes on land and if you're up in the high areas you're not going to get touched by the tsunami. So that's really important to remember to go inland or get away from the water if a tsunami is coming. Tsunamis uh, can last for many many hours. It's often when a tsunami occurs um, it's not just one. So you want to stay away from the water and uh, until you get it all clear that it's, it's safe to go down to the coast. If you're ever at the coastline, you can see these blue and white signs down there and they let you know that you're in a tsunami zone. It's always good to be aware of your surroundings. Um, just because these signs are there doesn't mean a tsunami is coming, but it just reminds us that hmm, we're in an area where a tsunami could, could happen. If a tsunami ever is generated, there will be time for officials to give you a warning and tell you that it's time to leave the beach, that you need to get away from the water and go up to high ground like we did in our model here. If you'd like to know more about tsunamis, go to the California Geological Survey website where we have lots of information and videos. Thank you.